This conference will now be recorded. So in previous session, we have uh, uh, created this dashboard and uh, we viewing this dashboard as the specific user. Let's see what is this dynamic dashboard and uh, in what context we need to build one dynamic dashboard. Let's think you are a sales manager. Okay, now for sales sales manager to have the overview of account, we have created this dashboard. And in your team, you have uh, uh, different sales people. Let's consider 10 sales people are there, and uh, you are the manager of them. So now you want to see, see this dashboard completely for your team, like the overview of all accounts, what is happening. And now you want to see this dashboard uh, for a particular user, like there is a sales user X, and for that, you want to see the data in, in how much accounts you own, how many cases they did, or the opportunities, where they're in the opportunities, you want to see. You want to see this dashboard for a particular user, or uh, whenever each sales guy logged in, they want to see their data, uh, what records they're working, they want to see the dashboard based on that record. So when you want to build that kind of thing, we'll go for dynamic dashboard. Dynamic dashboard, nothing but enable multiple users to access one dashboard uh, based on their access level in the record. Let's say I have uh, 150 accounts in my system, but uh, there are 10 sales guy who are working each 10 accounts, someone in 15 accounts, someone in five accounts. So when that sales user logged in, they will see only their data in their dashboard. And when as a manager I log in, I'll have the ability to view each sales guy's dashboard instead of having a multiple dashboard creating in a single dashboard, I'll be able to see dynamically which user have what kind of uh, insights or what kind of data for them. Okay. To do that, we'll go and create dynamic dashboard. So dynamic dashboard nothing but offers the user the ability to view the dashboard with data based on the running users data visibility. Okay, so uh, the data visibility of someone in the team or in the whole organization that depends on what kind of permissions you have and what kind of settings we are doing in the dashboard. So now let's see how we can build the dashboard. So let's see this dashboard is a normal dashboard right now. I want to make this dashboard a dynamic dashboard. To make any dashboard a dynamic dashboard, simply click on edit. You go to your dashboard properties from this clear icon. Then you can see the option view dashboard as. So here, if you want, okay, let's say there is a sales guy X point logged in, he will see only the data which is accessible to them. Then it will be done as view dashboard as me. So when I log in, I will see the dashboard as that. Or I have another option uh, called view dashboard as another person. That means I can set one specific user. So in the whole org, whoever going to access the dashboard, they will see the data based on this user permission. Okay, it's a normal dashboard, a static dashboard. So everybody in the org will see the same set of data when you go to this option, another person. Okay, and you see the the another option dashboard viewer. Okay, so. Uh, then when you go to the dashboard viewer, okay, so what's going to happen? So uh, like who viewed this dashboard? Based on that, this dashboard will be assessed the data, okay? So I mean nothing but when I logged in, when I create this dashboard, based on me, the dashboard will be visible to everyone who created this dashboard. So another person means I can set an, a, another person uh, based on that person's user data access, they can uh, see the data or based on the data viewer uh, or the dashboard viewer, uh, dynamically it will get the data for the dashboard which for the user who is viewing the dashboard. And whenever you want to select the dashboard as a dynamic dashboard, what kind of thing we have to do, okay? So now the moment you want to do this uh, dashboard to dynamically, you can set the option like, the dashboard viewers choose whom they view the dashboard as they can select these options let's see i'm a sales manager i want to view this dashboard for the uh, user x view so user x uh, when open this dashboard how it will looks like 
or my sales user why when you open dashboard how do they want to want to see that options i can do it so let me revise simply go to the setting icon okay then select this uh, let the dashboard viewers choose whom they view the dashboard as that uh, when you select this option automatically it will set as the dashboard viewer options so these options makes the dashboard as a dynamic dashboard if you click on the save okay now let me save it okay let me save it now once you're done now whenever you open the dashboard what's going to happen so now we can run the dashboard as how you want now you can see we in the we are viewing this dashboard as this user okay so now if you have uh, permissions okay uh, to view as the team dashboard or uh, let me show the permissions there are basically uh, two permissions need whenever you are going with the dynamic dashboard you will have the permission of uh, manage dynamic dashboard let you go to the profile i'll show you that also what kind of permissions we need for dynamic dashboard if you go to profile if your profile or, or in your user level if you have these two permissions let me open so if you search dynamic you can see this permission manage dynamic dashboard and you will have one permission called view my team dashboard these two permissions if you have then you can assess your dashboard as a dynamic dashboard okay so this if this permission this permissions is not in the profile level your admin can set uh, these permissions for uh, as a permission set and, and they give access to a particular a particular user also Okay, so this way we can see how my dashboard going to run. Okay, so once uh, you run this dashboard, what is going to happen? You can see who the users can uh, see the dashboards as they want. Okay, as, as I have only one user in the system, so it's not uh, showing me the options. So now when you run the dashboards, if you have multiple users, simply you can see here one options you can change viewing as devices now. So now, okay, I got the option called change. So if I want to see this dashboard by any other user, you can click on the change button or okay, change link here. So it's nothing but it says who the user you want to see the dashboard as, as it is. So let's see, I want to see this dashboard as my another user. Let's I click on the change. That's with whom you want to want to see. Let's I have any other user if I search. I have this user, I click on the apply. So now my dashboard will display as per this user. So this user doesn't have any 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 data so it's not showing anything so i have one dashboard where i can show the dashboard data uh, based on different users i can set my dashboard to be visible like for the users whom i want my team's dashboard i can see so when you want to have this kind of dashboard let's instead of uh, creating multiple dashboard we can create a dashboard where the dashboard user can change the if they have appropriate permissions so as i said here manage dynamic dashboard and view my team's dashboard then they can change and they can see the dashboard dynamically uh, as they want so this concept nothing but dynamic dashboard and it's quite easy to set when you want to set dynamic dashboard simply you go here and just select let dashboard viewers choose whom they view the dashboard as thank you stay tuned for next session to see more interesting topics